Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Codemaster X62 here, and today I have another deck profile for you. Today I am going to do a deck profile on my Raid Raptors. I built these uh, what, three days ago, I think. Um, I built them at Locals. I got a bunch of good trades, so let's start this off. Good morning. Three Mimicry Lane, yes, um... He lets you get the, um, he's a searcher for one, because once he's in the graveyard, you can search. And he bumps the levels up by one, so you can get better monsters like, um, Volcasaurus, um, Tyrus, Wind Up, Zemmile, all those. Next, we're running Triple Sharp Lanius. Um, he's kind of like an enemy, enemy controller, he can change their battle positions. And then when he attacks, if he attacks and he survives during the main phase two, um, he's kind of like a monster reborn. You can pick a raid raptor in your graveyard and special summon it, which is really good with the um, mimicry lanius, the vanishing, all of them. Next up, we have triple vanishing lanius. He's just a simple, you normal summon him, then you can special summon a raid raptor from your hand. It's relatively simple. It's a good card. Probably the best monster. In the deck, really, because you need him to get your XC's plays off. And I'm running. Three Harpy Harpist. She's another searcher. Um, that's pretty much what she does. I'm running two Armageddon Knight to get the um, Mimicry Lanius in the grave. So you can banish it for search or get another in the grave for Sharp to revive. And that's it for the monsters. We're moving on to spells now. Triple Upstart Goblin, it's staple. Double Nest, it's a searcher, and you really need that in the deck with the short number of monsters. Two Rank Up Magic Revolution Force, it's the Raid Raptor specific one. Um, it's the only way in the deck for me to get to that Revolution Falcon. <coughs> now I just have a bunch of one of spells and traps, one of Allure. One of Book of Moon, one of Foolish Barrel, one of MST, one of Regeki. That's it for the spells. Now I have three. Raid Drop to Readiness. It's just, it can't be destroyed, but Battle Turn Activity can banish, take no battle damage. It's it's alright. Double Call of Haunted. Um, probably swap these out for Soul Charge and another MST if I. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. One Bottomless. One Compulse, one Fiendish Chain, one Icarus Attack, one Mirror Force, one Ring of Destruction, one Solemn Warning, one Torrential, and one Vanities. Just a lot of one ofs because I just, that's how I see a lot of them as. And now for the extra deck. I'm running two. Yeah, one sec, I got some cards underneath there. Two Revolution Falcon. Um, he's the one you rank up magic into. He's he's pretty good, I'd say. Mm. Next we have one, two, three Blaze Falcon. Just another nice card. Triple Rise Falcon. Probably the best Raider Raptor sees in my opinion. One Shark Fortress. Um, tell you the truth, I only have running this because it's what I have. Um. I'd probably say like a Volcasaurus, a Tyrus, one of those. Steel Swarm Roach. Number 82 Heartland Draco. Maystroke. A Volval Chain. Castell. And Dweller. And I am not running a side deck with this currently, but what I would say is Imperial Iron Walls, Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors. Oh, no, not Shadow, that's stupid. Light Imprisoning Mirrors, um, the Veilers. Fairy Winds, Twisters, more MSTs. That's maybe some stuff to banish from their graveyard, maybe like a Kaiku or something. That's probably it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later. Look at that dweller.